here's a question. Do y'all go on to Netflix and, you know, of late, maybe the last year or two, Netflix has been doing a decent job of bringing <laughs> some anime to there. All I do is get uh, get attacked by Rob anytime he walks through the room and sees me watching anime. <laughs> yeah, I watch it. Okay, so you've come upon some of the Netflix animes, yes? It's all for fags and weebs. <laughs> fags and weebs. <laughs> Canceled. There's one that came out about a month or two ago, and it's based on an ongoing manga that's been around for probably years and years. It's called Bastard. Do you know what I'm talking about, Andrew? Yeah, I started watching it. Okay, I started watching it too. I have since given up on it because it didn't really hold my attention. But I'm watching it, and it's it's in English. There's no dubbing or anything like that. And like they start talking about this evil force called the Dark Schneider. And I'm thinking of fucking Schneider from One Day at a Time. I'm I'm thinking of like <laughs> I'm, I'm the Dark of Schneider. Evil, yeah, Dark Schneider, <laughs> and that's his name. Okay, and I get curious enough about it after I stop cackling. I get curious enough about it to put <laughs> Schneider into Google Translate, and it actually means cutter, probably like butcher or somebody with a knife. So Schneider actually probably, if we were German, it would sound really cool. But in my head, I'm picturing fucking eight is enough, you know, going all dark and evil and killing people. I have a coworker named Schneider, so that actually, when I when I go into work, I I refer to him as Dark Schneider. Now. Nice. Now, now, does he know the Dark Wamba? <laughs> the Dark what? <laughs> the Dark Wamba. Remember the Dark Wamba? That's tr- triggering something in my memory, but I don't. I can't. I can't get it. But what? What the fuck was it? This was like when we were like teenagers or something. It was a book that mom had rented from the library. Yeah, that's, that's the name of the famous author. And it was something the dark, you know, like beware the dark or something covered up on the sidebar. And so, <laughs> so we came up with a thing about like, you know, the anti-hero, the dark wamba. Nice. <laughs> We need to make some kind of like web comic or something about Dark Schneider meets Dark Wamba. <laughs> no, it's a Dark Wamba. It's coming right for us. On this new topic, I, I, I have a feeling because I've spoken to Rob about such things before that I'm going to end up just like lambasting y'all or like digging in and just hating on you. <laughs> Although Andrew's here. Andrew's here. He's a new dynamic. House of the Dragon is beginning in a little more than a week. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hmm. I'll watch it. I'll try it. It's going to be better than uh, the Lord of the Rings thing, which is just a fucking disaster. See, the fact that you guys aren't like giggling like little schoolgirls right now when I say that, that's the problem. You guys just don't, you don't, you don't feel it. You're not feeling it. You don't know what the show is? It's the prequel on how they came to power. I'm going to give it an episode or two before I have an actual opinion on it. It's going to be awesome. You think? Fuck yes. I'll give it a 50-50. Oh, God damn you. Wait, you think it's going to be awesome? Yes! Like awesome in a, like a, in a bad way? No, it's going to be awesome in a... We're not talking about Lord of the Rings, Andrew. We have changed topics back to House of the Dragon, correct? Do you realize you, you don't realize it, it's it's going to be good. It's going to be awesome. Uh, uh, I'm going to give it a fair chance. Are you excited for this, Matt? Yes. Fuck yes. You, uh, Jesus Christ. How are you not? Oh, OK. But well, you were so disappointed by the end of uh, Game of Thrones. We watched uh, like what, 20 videos or something together about like just how it all fell apart. And you were so upset. It did. It absolutely 100% did. This show is not going to be that. There is no D&D. There is no Dave and Dickhead or whatever the fuck their names are. There's no showrunners backing out because they want to do Netflix and that gets canceled. And then backing out because they want to do Star Wars and that gets captioned. That shit is not present. What's present is a fully completed story. So they're not going to have to go off book at all. Although they have to add quite a lot of stuff because y'all haven't read the books. I don't even know why I'm talking to y'all about this. Damn it. Did y'all read? <laughs> well, no, th- I'm actually going to watch it because I just want a good fantasy story. There you go. Did Did y'all read the Song of Ice and Fire? I mean, the last book came out oh, in yeah. fucking 2010. Y'all should have read it by now. Yes. 
I will watch it for what it is. I am totally open to it. I didn't know anything about Game of Thrones before it came out. And then it was a new series that showed up. And somehow I had missed everything. I missed the books. I missed the RPG. So I was like, oh, wow, an adult fantasy thing. I'm totally into this. I will watch it. And if it's good, I'll love it. And if it's bad, I, I'll i be like, yeah, well, it'll be like Wheel of Time. And I'll be like, okay, whatever. Are you a book reader, Andrew? Yes. Well, he says he is, but he never actually reads a book. Only since I moved here. Andrew Moore has books than reads books. <laughs> it's true. Has a nice bookshelf I, I, in case any guests. I have no time. I've been trying to get through Dan. Dan can constantly keeps sending me the books he wrote and wants like feedback and reviews and stuff. So uh, I have to get through all those before I can. Also, Andrew is half blind, has needed glasses desperately and just will not leave the house to get glasses. Because, you know, it's like a quarter mile down the road. Here's my suggestion. In the next two weeks, y'all have a grace period where the show, I think it's coming out maybe in 10 or 11 days at this point, but you know, you're probably not going to watch it the first night it comes out. So you got probably about two weeks. Get Fire and Blood and read it immediately. Yeah, I'll read it after. If the series impresses me, I'll be excited to read the book. No, I, I agree with that in general, but I, I just think when there's some things like Harry Potter, for example, where the books are so good that you can't apply that formula to that. You need to get the book and read it immediately. But that's that's me. That's just how I roll. If they never finish the books, I'll I'll never read it. Because why? When it comes to the Song of Ice and Fire books, I think you have to be realistic and say you're probably not going to get any more books. So you have to look at it for what it is, which is friggin' awesome and probably the best book series ever, especially the best fantasy series. At least I think so. And I, I could convince y'all too. If you don't believe me, I could convince you. <laughs> Not with a few words. <laughs> no. You'd have to watch some videos. You'd have to see what's going on behind the scenes. He's a genius, George R. R. Martin. He might be a lazy mofo, but he's a goddamn genius. <laughs> We're going to revisit this uh, topic. So 821. I'm bad at math, but I think that's 12 days. That's when it's coming out. So just be on the lookout for it because it will come up again. I warn you. Yeah, I'll watch it the night it comes out. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, yes, it is coming out, and I will watch. In a related note, have you seen the preview for the D&D &D movie coming out next year? <laughs> no. It looks so good. Fucking preview looks amazing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The trailer, at least, looks badass as hell. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. Let, let me just give you one word. Owlbear. <laughs> oh, no shit. No shit. <laughs> And you know what? I went to work and I asked a couple other people that knew D&D. &D. I was like, did you see the D&D &D trailer? They go, the owlbear! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking owlbear! Holy shit! Someone in the production chain has actually played D&D &D before, is what you guys are saying. Yeah, you know whenever you're watching something recent and they put in some sort of like stupid Easter egg and you know there's like tons of people out there going, Woo! That's something I've seen before! Woo! That's what I did for owlbear. <laughs> Yeah, and he did it for the whole trailer. He's like, oh, oh, and look at this. Oh, and look at that. I don't fanboy, and I fanboyed. And Chris Pine <laughs> running around with his normal Chris Pine haircut, looking like Captain yeah. Kirk. That's not a problem. Not a problem at all, because he is the bard. <laughs> oh, no oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, goddamn. Okay, all right. Yeah. I'll actually pay attention to it, because I've completely ignored it. Did y'all see the... Uh, I think, was it the World of Warcraft movie that had Ragnar Lothbrok as the main guy? I loved it. I actually wish they had made a sequel. And my other thoughts on that was I was loving the first, like, 20 minutes. And I was actually hoping they were going to do the whole movie from the orc's point of view. I liked the orc point of view that they had. I really liked Paula Patton, the actress, as the female orc, because she was hot as fucking balls, all green and looking all like a furry bikini. <laughs> that was good. I kind of liked it. Uh, it wasn't horrifying. It was actually a uh, pretty good effort at making like a and d esque movie, yeah. even though it was technically World of Warcraft. And I had never played World of Warcraft, and I was able to follow everything, and apparently there's little things seasoned in there for people that have played that like are true to the stuff. And then I, after the movie, I went and watched a whole bunch of the, um, the video game movies, and it was like that kind of filled out the lore of who the characters were and stuff, and gave me like, like let me know like what 
the rest of the story was going to be. So I thought, I, I feel it's very underrated. Like people don't talk about it. They don't watch it. They didn't like it. It gets panned a lot. Yeah. And I don't think it deserves that panning. I, th I think it was actually a pretty good effort. And so you're saying that most of the characters that were main characters in the movie actually exist in the World of Warcraft universe? Remember the bad guy orc that was like the the sorcerer sending everyone through? Yeah. Like yeah. that's like a whole main thing, like in why they're turning green. So look up some of the, um, yeah, the CGI movies that they did and you'll get like, it'll flush out the world for you a lot more. It's, I think it's great. Nice. So a uh, hottie green orc lady, she's going to be running around World of Warcraft somewhere? I don't know if she's a character. I know the main guy, the main good orc was a main character, and the sorcerer, the king that they talk about, like he was at some point in the games. Nice. All right. I will have watched more about D&D by the next time we talk, because now you've piqued my interest. It's been piqued. And, I, and we'll check out uh, House of the Dragon when it comes out. You have to, God damn it! <laughs> I'm glad. No, I'm glad you're excited, and I hope it lives up to your expectations. I never want someone to be like, "I love this," and be like, "No, fuck you, you suck," because you like that. Like even the bad stuff, the bad new Star Trek and stuff. If people like that, more power to them. I, I don't care. Like it's not for me. Hey, 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 hey. the new Star Trek's pretty good. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. If you want to watch it, then then great. But like, nah, count me out. Except your opinion is uh, objectively wrong. Here's what you should do about my suggestion. You're not going to do it. But if you're ever looking to go down a little bit of a YouTube click hole, you got a little time to kill. Rob, I know you're in school. You probably don't have that much free time. But if you go onto YouTube and type in Game of Thrones theories and watch a few of those videos, it, it's like this whole like mind fuck spiraling thing. And you start to realize just exactly like George R. R. Martin calls two, he identifies two different types of writers. There's uh, I forget the, the term for it, like a planner. And then there's a gardener. He's a gardener as he's writing, he plants all these little seeds and a lot of them he may never revisit, but they're there. So later on during, you know, whatever his characters end up doing, he might use some of those seeds. So as you're reading these stories and you're seeing these things, all this shit comes out. It's just so goddamn amazing. It, it, it's so, it's hard to explain how amazing it is. And that'll do it for today's video, guys. Thanks for going on this journey with us. Let me know how you liked it in the comments section. And also, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel as we bring you more thoughtful and intriguing content in the future.